have uh, already presented to the RM Council and got 100% uh, endorsement of the concept and principle. We've addressed the Standing Policy Committee on Development and Infrastructure at the City of Saskatoon. They received the information and uh, we haven't received any resistance to it. The next logical step was to present to the planning district group, which we just did. And now if we get some encouragement to go forward with this, we're ready to move right into our rezoning process, gaining the proper reports and information as required in short order. We're doing this for future generations. We're trying to uh, significantly impact the amount of GHGs our conventionally built developments are emitting every year for the life cycle of each of these developments. As Harold Orr addressed, if we had gone to the passive housing standards back 40 years ago, we'd be the shining light on the planet as to how to stop GHGs regarding to uh, what's emitted by our buildings, which actually is about 30-35% of all the GHGs emitted every year from the planet. We've approved in principle, meaning that in fact, from a higher level, it looks like a, a, an interesting project, but that's as far as we, we've gone on it. I don't know if you realize it, but they are a neighbor of Wanuskaven Heritage Park, which is going to be UNESCO Heritage Site. So I think um, it's important that they respect Wanuskaven and make sure whatever they do does not come into any, doesn't infringe on Wanuskaven's what they're looking for.